I'm Pamela Martin. If you're a woman over 40 in this province, you're entitled to a free mammogram. Be sure to get yours. It's just one of the tools available to BC women in the fight against breast cancer, a fight we appear to be winning. Here's the big picture. Good. One more. Wendy Denbrock always wanted to be a doctor, but on the very day she was accepted at UBC okay. Medical School, she was good. diagnosed with the deadliest form of breast cancer, a dream and a nightmare all at once. Sick to my stomach was probably the, the first feeling I had. And uh, I remember driving home from my appointment and I was just, it was, everything was just surreal. It just, uh... Den Brock's cancer was advanced and aggressive. Perhaps the best thing going for her was that Wendy lived in BC. British Columbia has one of the best survival rates uh, anywhere in the world and definitely the best in Canada. According to the Lancet Medical Journal, the latest stats show that BC has a five-year breast cancer survival rate of 91.8%, compared with 86% in Alberta and 89.8% in Ontario. Compared to other countries with a similar medical system, such as Denmark, the UK, and even Sweden, British Columbia tops the list. Since 2001, the BC government has increased investment in cancer care and control by 173%, from $206 million to over half a billion this year. That commitment has created an environment that attracts some of the best researchers in the world to our labs and hospitals. Dr. Stephen Chia, chief of the BC Breast Cancer Tumor Group, says there are two primary reasons behind BC's exceptional survival rate. First is access to the latest treatments. British Columbia are leaders in this in compared to any other province. We have the most cancer drugs available to treat our population compared to any other province in this, in, in this country. Access to potentially life-saving drugs is critical. In BC, patients have fully funded access to 34 drugs for breast cancer compared to 18 in Alberta and 9 in Ontario. The screening mammography program is another reason for BC's remarkable survival rate. With screening sites across the province and even two mobile units to reach rural areas, BC is one of the few provinces that offers free mammograms to women starting at age 40. And in 2011, the BC government invested in a revolutionary new breast health center in Surrey to address what women say is the most stressful part of a cancer diagnosis, waiting for results. They're fretting and can't stand the wait, and it's just awful to see them. So that's where this clinic has been awesome because it's fast-tracked the whole thing. It's a model for the world, from suspicion to diagnosis in 21 days or less instead of months. Now, many women like Sarah find out immediately. Yeah, it's a huge weight off my mind just to be able to get the ball rolling and get things done. Because when this happens to you, you just want to get things done as quickly as possible. Sarah's treatment will start within a few days. As for Wendy Denbrock, her treatment is over. It's been five years since she faced that frightening death sentence. Dr. Denbrock can now dream of a future without breast cancer. I'm starting to realize now that, wow, I can, I can actually look forward and, and it's, it's okay. I can, I, can, I can see myself with a future. Yeah, I absolutely believe that if I, if I was pretty much anywhere else in the world, I don't, I don't think I'd be sitting here talking to you today.